All right, guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. And unfortunately, today's build's a little too big to get in the shop, so we're gonna be working outside. Uh, just to give you a little background, this is the wood we're gonna be using. And what I'm working on building is I've got a friend of mine that they have a uh, wedding venue that they're trying to get up and going. And they've asked for an archway to uh, use for the weddings. And they want it to be as big as as possible and uh, they want it to to have that rustic you know old school look about it so what I've decided to do is we're going to use some uh, pine poles these are true six inch by six inch pine beams uh, one of them is a six by four and I've cut these specifically for this and kind of let them set up and age for a little while to get them to turn colors because uh, you know everybody, nobody wants it to look new. You want it to, to look aged. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build basically a, a rectangular, like an entryway. And then I'm gonna get a little creative with the uh, four by six there and do like some angle braces to uh, kind of sturdy it up and just add a little bit of a, little bit of a uh, design factor to it. So stick around and we're gonna get started on this and try to get this done today. First step of this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the legs cut to length and make sure that I got them ready. And I'm probably gonna leave this stuff on the tractor if I can for now, until I get ready to start putting it together. Uh, as you can tell, these things aren't light. So I really don't wanna be lugging them around more than I have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get up here, I'm gonna get them even, make sure I cut them both off at the same length. Uh, the size of this material using a uh, skill saw just isn't an option. So I'm gonna to have to use a chainsaw, spider. I'm gonna to have to use a chainsaw uh, to cut these and try to make the cuts as, as straight as possible. So I wanna get started. I really don't have a, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get in there with a skill saw, so I'm gonna to have to use a, a chainsaw. And let me go get that and I'll show it to you right back. And before any of you guys want to uh, make fun of my little saw here, you might want to wait until after I cut this. Uh, I got this thing on a deal, and uh, it has actually shocked me how useful this thing is. I'm going to try to stay with this line here to keep this straight. And there we go. Like I said, we're not going for uh, manicured here. We want this to look as country and as redneck as we can make it. So I'm gonna call that done. All right, just gotta do a small trim on this one, but I'm gonna do me a line here to try to keep me uh, Keep me square. Then we'll cut on the yeah. Oh, 
All right, like I said, don't be talking trash about my saw. It works pretty good, actually. All right, and we'll call that one done. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> my handy little uh, handy little saw. Uh, back when I used to do tree work for a living and climb trees, I wish I'd have had one of these. It's actually really handy uh, for a lemon saw and for small stuff like this. You really can't beat it. All right, so we got those two to link. And what I did basically is I just took the length that they were and squared them off. So those are 11 and a half feet tall. So that'll work out real, real nice. That'll give us a couple of feet put in the ground and then still be able to have them eight foot tall. So that's gonna work for that. The third piece, which is gonna be the crossbar that goes across the top, I'm gonna make out of this one here. All right, this is my third piece right here. And I'm really hoping that this guy's uh, eight foot long already. So, well, it's about eight foot, two and three quarters. So, pretty much as long as we got some square ends on this guy, I think we're gonna be ready to go. Oh yeah, I done good on that one. Uh, whenever I cut that log, I actually done a pretty good job. It is, uh, it's as square as it needs to be for this. So, we're moving right along. All right, so I got my two legs done. This is gonna be my top board. Uh, this board right here is gonna be the one that goes uh, across the top, and then I got the two legs coming down. This piece I'm actually gonna to use to do like 45 bracing in the corners. So really, I've only gotta have two of those 45 braces. So I just need to determine how long I want these to be and I can go ahead and cut 45s on those and have those pre-cut ready to go so let me let me kind of do some contemplating in my head here I'm thinking that I'm going to want them to stick down probably about 32 inches so so yeah if I do if I do these about 40 inches will have me that'll, that'll have a pretty substantial uh pretty substantial little uh angled piece it won't be too heavy so i'm gonna say i'm gonna cut these at about 40 inches but the problem that i have with, is maneuvering these guys especially trying to use the the chop saw to cut to 45s because i'd really like to do that if i can is they're heavy as heck so what i'm going to do i guess would be to take this guy 80 inches at. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with eight. No, let's not do eight feet. That's too much. We'll go ahead and do 80 inches right here. So that gives me 40 inches will be right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and uh, make a quick cut on this guy. And then I'm gonna take it in the shop and use the chop saw to put that 45 on there so I know it's right because I don't really want to be messing with that. Hopefully, this won't take any more.
All right. I got my uh, my other two ready. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, we don't like much. I am gonna have to run and get some metal brackets and some lag bolts though. The way I plan on attaching this, like I said, cause it's gonna be at a wedding. Uh, can't have it fall on anybody. So I'm gonna go get some, uh, maybe like two inch wide metal L brackets. And that's what I'm gonna use to put it together. I'm also going to need a bag full of some really large lag bolts to hold this thing together. Uh, we're going to overkill it to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. There's going to be metal strapping all over this thing. Uh, now, I'm probably going to cover that up with some, you know, some rustic boards or something like that, maybe. I'm not real sure where we're going with that part. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear as I put this thing together and add to it however I see it needs it. And we'll go from there. But, uh... I'm going to take a quick break, cool off, get something to drink, and uh, run to town and pick up those uh, supplies that we're going to need to finish this now that i got an idea of uh, exactly how we're coming together. So stick around. All right, guys, I got the brackets. I uh, got back with all the, the feed for the animals and these brackets here. and So I'm going to try to get this thing thrown together. Uh, it is Alabama. It is summertime now. So I suspect we'll have a thunderstorm shortly. So I'm going to try to get this wrapped up. One thing that I got to do on these on these legs to make this top work is I've got to know how far this is, which it should be six inches, and I've got to take. I'm gonna go ahead and mount my brackets on these before I get it set up to uh, put together. Make it just make it a little easier on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the bracket on there and get the holes put in. All right, I'm gonna be uh, pre-drilling the holes just to make sure I don't split this uh, pine wood. So I've got me a drill bit that's like two sizes smaller than the lag bolt I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna drill the holes first and then put the lag bolts in there. I've also found that if you don't do that with some of this heart pine, it'll be so hard that this little impact will actually break the uh, heads off these lag bolts. So I'm gonna get this thing bolted on there. Next one right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure I come up six inches. And I want the, the board set right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this first hole. Mark the second one. And now I can move my bird out of the way. I will say tractor supply definitely did not give these little brackets away. I could have made my own, but why not just buy them? It'd take me longer to make them than it probably to buy them for what they do. Now we've made it to the point to where I gotta have this thing to where I can put it together. I'm thinking I'm gonna probably try to use my tractor to hold one end of it and put these legs out. 
So I'm gonna unload what the parts that I don't need for the next step and go from there. get these uh i'm gonna leave this one on the tractor i think and i'm gonna try to put those line those up with it uh, kind of lay them on the ground and uh, try to bolt everything together and then i'm gonna kind of stand it up and try to hold it up off the ground a little bit with the tractor once i get the legs on it so i'm gonna leave that one on the bucket so what i'm gonna do now that down there where I can work with it. And that should keep it just high enough off the ground to where I can uh, maneuver it. But I gotta get these two. Woo. Like I said, these are true six by sixes. They're not like. one in to hold everything together. I got it lined up pretty good, luckily. one of those situations where it pays to have extra wood laying around. Oh. Mm. That's not going to quite cut it.
part done I also got some uh, flat straps to go across the top what I'm gonna do just to make sure that this thing square I'm gonna put a square on it pull that leg around and then put those flat bars on the top like I said people are gonna be walking around under this thing so I got to make sure that it is secure and that's why I'm using steel a lot of steel uh, I'm probably gonna even go and uh, countersink a couple more lag bolts through the post into the uh, top but I just want to be overly cautious and make sure that this thing's just, thing is as secure as it can be so let's see if we can get it squared and get this plate on there
unfortunately I'm not in the shop on the slab where it would make this a little easier so what I'm gonna have to do to try to get this thing keep from letting this thing whoop me is I'm gonna take a couple of these uh, deck screws here just to hold this thing in place while I get everything configured to put the lag bolts in and I got lucky on this end it's sitting on the board so I'm gonna use that to hold this in and I'm just gonna use one of these deck screws to hold this thing for a few minutes until I can, uh, until I can get everything situated and uh, get the, the big bolts in it. So that's what we're fixing to do here. Got a little bit longer bolt for this application because I got to go through this board and into the other one. So I had to get something that had enough length to make the trip. Got the big gun on this one. All right, and what I'm doing on these, I'm just pulling that bolt down until it, the washer kind of digs into the wood a little bit, gets it, gets it to where I know that it's exerting enough pressure on there to hold that thing. So. Got that one in. Go back over here to this side. I'm gonna put these, I'm just putting one in these because these are more or less just my corner braces. There's not gonna be a whole lot of downforce on these. The purpose of these is just to keep these two legs from spreading apart. And probably what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna dress this up a little bit and decorate it with some uh, wood off the mill in these corners. Uh, but I'm gonna wait until I get it stand up where I can see it to make that determination. And I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'm starting to hear thunder, so we're gonna get wet if we don't hurry. This impact wrench wants about time to get the bigger one to go any bigger. So I got that one on there. Uh, got to go over to the other side and get the other side done now. All right, now that I got that side over there completed, I'm gonna take my my spacer out from under this side. I'll try to get this to lay down a little bit better.
I kind of messed my cut up a little bit. I'm just going to tag this one in. Fly, get away from me. Okay, I'm not gonna play with these things anymore. I'm gonna be messed up my little impact. Be right back. Let me go get the big gun. machine does not play. All right, making one final sweep for tools, and I'm going to lift this thing up off the ground a little bit where we can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Got her lifted up. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, with it leaning like that. But that's the the basic field right there. These are going to be the ends that are in the ground. So I'm going to walk, pick up my my extra pieces of wood I used for spacing here, and uh, try to figure out what the next step's going to be today. All right, guys. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm a little torn. I kind of want to put something across the top of it. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it looks pretty uh, looks pretty simple. I don't know that I want to go overcomplicate this thing. I'm afraid if I overcomplicate it, it might not uh, it might not look right. Let's see if I can stand it up where I can get a little bit better view without the bucket in it. guys i'm gonna be honest with you uh I, I may see adding some stuff to it later once it's in the ground depending on how they have everything set up around it but i'm thinking just for the entryway into the uh you know this this is this is supposed to be back behind where the bride and groom stand 
and uh, I'm thinking that I'm gonna leave that thing like it is for now and if they want to add to it once we get it in place we can kind of see how it looks against the background then uh, we may we may add some stuff to it uh, may skin it out with some cedar boards or something like that or or whatnot but uh, I'm gonna be honest with you uh, I kind of I kind of like the way it looks now how's that fit Pick it up We made it inside the shop guys uh, and just in the nick of time I haven't got my uh, summer coat on yet and so my pigment is a little challenged at the moment uh, the lower parts of my arms from the t-shirt weather you know back during the, the early part of spring uh, I'm pretty good but I haven't quite got adapted to not having sleeves yet so maybe regretting that later uh, this Alabama sun's awfully hot and it's not real forgiving. And unfortunately, I got the lawnmower still broke down here waiting on the parts to come in tomorrow to get it out of the way. And I just couldn't get it up into the shop or either not even under, under the canopy. So, uh, but we got it done. I got it to a stopping point. I think that's where we're gonna go. Uh, the, to give you a little more information on this thing, the, the folks, they, they have a wedding venue that they're putting in right down the road from where I live. And this arbor is, from what I've been told, is gonna be inside a pole barn. So it's gonna be out of the weather, but we are gonna to have to take some uh, special precautions with the wood that's going into the ground to try to make sure that it doesn't rot or you know termites don't get in it. There's a couple of different methods that we can they can use when they're putting that in the ground, and I'm not gonna to speak to which one they're gonna use, but I have told them that they'll need to treat it somehow to get it to last. You know, if we can get if they can get five or six years out of this thing, I think you know they'll they'll be happy. But hopefully, with the right treatment, it'll last longer than that. But all the wood that you saw me use today came off of my sawmill. My wood miser LX25, I cut every piece of it. Uh, all of the trees that, that I used to do it with are all trees that were taken out by a storm. Uh, we had to have a guy that had some planted pine trees just down the road and we had a storm come through and there was probably 30 or 40 of the small pines that were maybe 12, 14 inches that got took out and that's where the wood that I used, the, the logs that I used to make these, that's where they came from. So, you know, a little bit of recycling and uh, using it to to build things otherwise they'd have just laid out there in the woods and rotted so i like making use of things that are uh, available you know material cost it cost me for gas to go get the uh, the logs bring them back gas for the meal my labor for the meal to mill it which i enjoy so you know that's kind of my hobby and then after i got the logs milled of course you know you saw what went in today to, to, to take in those logs that i had milled and and bolting them together and making them into into this archway or this arbor whichever you want to call it but all in all like i said it wasn't a terrible job it would probably be better if i'd have had another set of hands uh working by yourself especially when folks want this really big lumber like these six by sixes uh because this is not your traditional six by six like you see at home depot that's five and a half by five and a half this is these are true six inches by six inches and it gets really heavy, especially trying to manipulate those things by yourself. I appreciate you stopping by the Clack Shack. You never know what we're gonna be doing around here because I pretty much, people will contact me and say, hey, I would like to have one of these, can you make it? And if it's within the scope of my ability, I will make it for them and, you know, so you never know. One day I'm building birdhouses, beehives, you know, wedding arbors, cake stands, you know, laser engraving mirrors. You never really know what we're gonna be doing around here and of course, yesterday lawnmower breaks down got to work on the lawnmower uh but a lot of folks have said they like me uh and horse flies you, you'll always have horse flies in the summer a lot of folks have said that uh they like seeing some of this stuff and i guess maybe i don't you know this this is just every day to me but i understand in some some walks of life maybe you, you don't get to do this kind of stuff or or maybe you're trying to learn how to be able to do it and you want to see what how other folks do it uh, waiver, I am not a professional carpenter by no stretch of the imagination. I can make things. I make things that stay together. I'm standing in a building that I made. It's been here 15 years. So, you know, take it, take everything I do with a grain of salt and just know I am not a professional. So if you want to mimic me, feel free. I, I don't mind. I learned it from somebody else down the road years gone by. Uh, but for the guys in the video that were making fun of my electric chainsaw, uh, 
it works, guys. Uh, I, well, I, I swore to myself I would never use an electric chainsaw. And like I said, had I not come across a really good deal on this one, I bought it basically so that when I would, when I would go to the hunting club, I could have a, a small, quiet chainsaw so that if a tree had fell across the, uh, the, the road going to my stand or whatever, I could get out and cut the tree out of the way, you know, to drive through with my buggy or my RTV or whatever, and not disturb every deer in the woods. So that was why I bought it. But once I got it and started using it, I realized that it's pretty powerful. Now, I'm not, it's, it's not something that I would carry if I was going to cut, you know, clear cut some property, but you know, don't knock it till you try it. Uh, that's my little 12 inch Dewalt and it works good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop a link in the description. So if you wanna look at getting one of those little guys, feel free to use that associate link for me. But like I said, I appreciate you sticking around and watching the videos. Feel free to check any, out any of the other ones that I have. And also while you're here, if you would, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit that thousand uh, subscriber mark and I'm getting really close and I just really want to go ahead and accomplish that. I'm a goal-oriented person, and I really want to see a 1,000 subscribers. So if you don't mind, take the time and hit the button. So thanks. See you again.